Hello everyone and welcome back to Blender Car Modeling. This is Versus 53 and we are going to be modeling the Toyota Supra Mark IV. Hello everyone and welcome back and today we are going to be modeling the next part of the Supra which is going to be the side part of the bonnet that is going to be going right up to the door base, door edge. Now we are going to be expanding this only, we are going to be expanding the hood so that the hood topology and the side topology is going to remain uniform. So just tap into your hood from here then we are going to be going to 1 to the front view just press E and extrude keep extruding till here to this very edge I am just going to press ctrl alt Q for the 4 views just make sure that it is on this edge so as you can see here in the 3d viewport of this part this section it is going in a straight line what we are going to be needing to do is make this curved so you can add loop cuts and organize them or you can just have a look at the video at what I did. I'm just fast forward this part, I'm gonna speed it up, speed it up for you. And now what I'm gonna do is just space this out evenly. So just press N for your side toolbar. Just go to edit and just press space right here. So this is gonna be spacing out your vertices evenly. Right? Just press N to collapse that again. I'm pressing Ctrl Alt Q and going back to our normal mode right here. Just have a look just to check. And now what we're gonna be doing is just continuing this loop right around here. I'm just going to be tabbing, tabbing out from here, tabbing into this one and then let's see. So our vertice right here is going to intersect this point. So let's just take, take points from here right to the very edge here. Just press shift D first to duplicate the selection and then press P, separate the selection, tab out and then just hold on control, select this part so that it unselects this. Then we're going to press hold down shift and select the hood and just press ctrl J so that it joins both of the the separated vertices right here and the hood and just tab in. As you can see these both are joined. So then I'm just going to go here select the farther one first then our vertice that we inserted before press M and merge at last right. So we might not need this, so just press X here, delete the vertices. We're going to be needing a vertices from here to this point. So let's just extend it from here. Alright, Control alt q again. And after inserting the edge loop, we are going to be connecting both of these. So just select both of these by pressing holding down shift and just press F to make a face. And there you go, this entire thing is going to be connected. And now let's just press Ctrl Alt Q and see how many cuts we need here. So there is, we need one more cut on the hood right here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Hold down Alt and select this one and just slide that up a little bit. So let's just go ahead and put in six cuts. All right. Once you're done with that, we're gonna need to align these also. So let's just give them a smooth curvature. Just 
just make sure that there's a smooth curvature and now we're going to make two curvature guides right about here so let's just go ahead and do that all right three cuts again so i've joined these with f and then put in three cuts and once you've got the nice curvature right around here hold down shift first select that point hold on control select this point press n and then just place it up what i'm gonna do now is just add another edge loop right here and now let's reuse the grid fill tool after hiding these again All right, and we have a nice curvature going around here and we need something similar going around here and we'll have a different curvature around here. So here the curvature changes. So what I'm going to do is just face this one up, All right? And now after doing that, I'm just going to be grid filling this again after giving this a little bit of curvature. And we're going to be heading this one. Just go ahead and select these. Now press F3. Go to our grid fill right here. And that is going to be filling the entire thing. Press Alt H to unhide the vertices right here. And let's just play around with these a little bit. So let's just paste this up. Place these two up first. I'm just going to be adjusting the edge flow around this area. Just press Alt X, go to your reflective red matte cap, and just have a look there. So the reflection is going to become a little thin there because it's going to be wrapping around the car right so now what we're going to be doing is just separating this part let's just get it. so we're going to need from this vertice right down this entire line till here so just press control and then hold on control shift control shift keep holding that down right and then just Hold down shift and just box select all of these vertices. Shift D. Right click to keep it in place. Press P and separate the selection. Press the hood again. Tap back in. And then select this vertex. Control and shift. Right down to this one. And then press X and delete those vertices. Right and we have those perfect two panels going like that. Uh, just have a look there. And we're also going to be needing to delete this one right here. Right. There we go. So we have our panels made right here. Let's go ahead and make this panel also. The big panel right here. This one. Let's go ahead and do that one too. So just select this one. Press shift. And then we're going to be extending this. Alright. Just press E. And Y. And extend this right here now we're going to be adding a circle mesh by pressing shift a and circle and perfect that adds it right here now just press g and move that circle press s to scale it down now we're going to be deleting all the vertices from here to this point all right delete the vertices there just select all of these press g and x we are going to be 
disabling the clipping right here first to move that GNX right there right the vertices that you see do see are inside just move them in right So as soon as you get these aligned, then we're going to be extruding these and putting this through the, through to the door edge right here. Just press E right here and extrude it, right? After extruding it here, I'm just going to press E again and extrude it up. And then we're going to be making this curvature, right? And then select that one, press F. You'll rehab one here, so we need seven cuts here. And just align all the cuts that we made right as soon as you make sure they're on the blueprints around here we don't need them straight okay so let's hide all of these all of these right So we're done aligning these and these still do look a little flat right here press ctrl 1 that's going to take you to back view and there you go so we can see the curvature of the car right here let's just align these according to that I'm just going to go ahead and change the reference right here for you to see. So let's just go here for a second. And these are uploaded in the description. Just go ahead and check those out. Just open this image right here. Yeah, just have a look. This is right adjacent our side. So it is pretty straight. So let's get that line straight, right? Once you're done with this, then we're going to be starting to face this up. All right. So what I'm going to do is just go back to three. Just control X this one. We're going to add the edge loops afterwards. So let's do one thing. Let's just go ahead and select this entire loop. All right. Let's just select this shift D. Right click to keep it in place, press P, separate by selection. Just like this, separate by selection, and we are done with that. And just go back here to the side, select this entire loop, and we're just going to be deleting. And there, just tap out, and we have our lines right here. So let's just add the extra points that we need here. And just face it up, right? Right, so when you reach here, we have an extra one here, so let's just go ahead and add one here, then come around here, select all this entire loop, press in, and just face that out properly, okay? And then I'm just gonna select this entire thing. Hold down shift, select this entire thing and just press, just add three more here, edge loop, three more, three more here because we have three here. So now we're going to be selecting this entire thing. Now we're going to be selecting this entire thing. 
then we're going to be pressing F3 and grid fill. Right? So this is going to be pretty flat. So let's just go ahead and take this out. Just go back to our silver matte cap. Right click and shade smooth. And make sure these are nice and flush with our panels right here. So we don't have any further problems later. So before you close Blender, let's just rename the panels and get it a little bit more sorted. So let's just do that. For this, just press F2 and rename that to front hood body. Just press enter, click here and then just press F2 and rename this to front wheel body actually. All right. So just press control S to save this entire thing in Blender. All right. So, hey guys. Good job on completing part 6 of how to model a car in Blender, which is the Toyota Supra Mark 6. I hope you're understanding each and every part of the video and why I'm doing certain steps and certain features. If you do have any doubts, you can just go ahead and check them out in the comment box or just ask for help in the comment box. I'll be sure to help you down there. And do consider giving me a like, share and subscribe as it really does help me keep up with the videos. And do keep up the progress, all the best and happy creating. Thank you for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next one.